Hi, this is Sir Jun, and today I am your philosophy teacher. Today we shall be talking about utilitarianism. This is one of the ethical principles that we need to discuss about ethics. So if you want to learn more knowledge, if you want to gain more wisdom about philosophy, and then join me in this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and ring the bell down there so that you will be updated on the upcoming videos that I am going to upload. And so, without further ado, let's start our discussion. Utilitarianism is an ethical theory that argues that the rightness and wrongness of an action depends on the usefulness of the action's consequences. This ethical theory was popularized by two famous modern philosophers. They are Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill. Bentham was an English modern philosopher who first popularized the ethical theory on utilitarianism. He was the mentor of James Mill, the father of John Stuart Mill. John Stuart Mill was the son of James Mill, and since John Stuart was actually schooled or educated at home by his father, then John Stuart Mill actually learned the teachings of Bentham from his father. And later on, in 1861, it was John Stuart Mill who popularized the theory of utilitarianism in his essay entitled Utilitarianism in 1861. Now, let us go to the theory itself. From the word utility, this actually signifies that usefulness, you know, the consequences of our behaviors, you know, the, the usefulness, you know, the usage of our actions. And so, according to Bentham and Mill, a right behavior is determined through its goodness of pleasure and consequences. So this actually implies that uh, a pleasure is good and the usefulness determines the action's rightness. So, like for instance, your action is good if it brings good benefit, you know? But there are some uh, qualifications to this kind of good benefit as the consequences of our actions later on. Uh, another thing that we have to clarify here is that based on this utilitarian principle, then we can argue that some individual rights can actually be sacrificed for the sake of the greatest happiness of many people, you know. Uh, dito natin malalaman guys na, is it right to kill someone? Is it right to defend yourself against the one who attacked you, who killed you? Ayan. This is because we, we, we try to look at the rightness and wrongness of an act depending on the greatest pleasure that is given as a consequence of an act. Unlike with the natural law of St. Thomas Aquinas, the principle of utilitarianism looks at not the action itself, but it looks at the consequences of an act. Now, this is actually the main principle of the utilitarianism. It actually points out that the rightness and wrongness of an act is grounded on the specific consequences that benefit, that benefit the greatest number of people. So halimbawa, an act is considered, uh, considered as right if its usefulness contributes to the greatest happiness of the greatest number of people. On the other hand, an act is wrong if its usefulness is contrary, contrary, ah, contrary to the greatest happiness of the greatest number of people. Kaya naman, dito natin makikita guys that a selfish act that benefit only your own self is not actually right. 
because it does not bring benefit to the greatest happiness of the greatest number of people. Kaya kung palagi nilang natin iisipin yung ating sarili lamang, ating sariling interest, ay eh, mali yun. Hindi po tama yun. Hindi ko naman sinasabi that we, we disregard the goodness of ourselves, the benefit of ourselves. But the point here is that we, when we do an act, we should not only do an act because it benefits us. We have to think also that our actions can greatly affect other people, especially those people around us. And so, we try to look at whether our actions could actually bring happiness, you know, greater, huh? greater happiness to the greatest number of people. So, tama yung mga action natin if masaya ang karamihan. Mas masaya ang karamihan. Therefore, by way of the utilitarian principle, it is essential for us to consider not only our own self sa ating mga ginagawa sa buhay, but we also have to consider the happiness of others. We have to consider also that our act could bring good benefit to the greatest number of people. Kaya naman, it is important that before we make decisions and actions in this life, we have to answer the question of Will I be happy? Am I going to be happy if I do this? And if your answer is yes, then proceed. But we have to proceed also the sec- to the second question. That is, will others be happy if I do this? Will my family be happy if I am going to do this? You know, as much as we have to give respect to ourselves, as much as we have to consider our own happiness as a person but we must not forget that we are social beings we are political beings and therefore we live with the world and time and so our decisions our actions in this life could always affect the people around us and so we should not be selfish of promoting only our own welfare and happiness but we should be selfless we should be selfless in promoting not only our own well-being but also the well-being of our people especially the people we usually encounter in our everyday life to sum up the principle of utilitarianism actually tells us that we need to look at first the possible consequences of our actions now we have to be mindful of the fact that in ethics, all actions have always consequences. Now, the question is, will the consequence of your act bring the greatest happiness to the greatest number of people? Will it bring good to yourself and others? Because if your act will only bring good or pleasure to yourself but destroy the life of others then definitely it is wrong that is why for me as we look at the eyes of society's problem such as the problem of corruption bribery and many other egoistic actions that we have in a society we can say that by looking at the consequences of these actions actually makikita natin these are wrong you know egoism is wrong thinking only of our own interests is wrong why because it does not promote the greatest happiness of many people that is why by virtue of the utilitarian principle we can say that egoistic acts such as bribery corruption maltrato, injustices that we usually see in our society today. These actions are wrong. Why? Because, you know, corrupt people only think of their own self. They only think of their own interests. But they don't think of 
the possible consequences na marami ang nasisira na buhay. You know, their actions only promote their own welfare but do not promote the welfare of many people. Mali po na kung ating sarili lamang ang ating palaging iniisip. Mali po that we only think of our own good but disregard the good and benefit also of other people. Mali po na palagi nilang tayong selfish sa buhay. We don't think of others. No, that's wrong. Why? Because let me tell you, you are a political and social being. And therefore, your actions will always bring series of consequences to yourself and to other people. Again, this is Sir Jun. Thank you for watching this vlog. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe so that you will be updated on the upcoming videos that I am going to upload. And thank you for watching.